basically in the same location as last night at the sort of start of Glencoe if you like that's the only way I can describe it um, we've got up for sunrise we've got up early um, sunrise now absolutely throwing it down that wasn't predicted it was actually supposed to be a little bit dramatic but not not the shower so a little bit gutted about it. so we've literally gonna stock up on a bit of food have a bit of a good bit of breakfast so we're having some nice uh, crumpets some square crumpets on the ridge monkey and then I think the plan is is probably to move down a little bit further down the the valley of Glencoe and probably get some photos as things start to calm down a little bit which is predicted so until then I will catch you guys later we're up at Glencoe and we've pulled up at the the King's House Hotel in the car park I'm going to some waterfalls Devil's Cauldron just above here about a 10 minute walk been told to put the wellies on so it's a little bit muddy um, look forward to this one the light is superb absolutely superb um, look at that look at that behind me <laughs> so yes um, day two of Glencoe and it is stunning right okay hopefully as soon as they're ready get on his toes and get up there but look at that view beyond it's just absolutely amazing just waiting for these guys now well we've come down to the river and we're just trying to uh, find some comps a lot of them have stopped up there a little bit I'm just coming down with this this gentleman which I forgot his name I think it's Craig um, just to see if we can get in the right position even though the mountain now is just all clagged over <laughs> 20 minutes ago it was absolutely stunning it was deer and God knows what uh, and that was in the car park so I'm trying to find something a little bit different to be honest so we're just I'm just searching down the the river here and it's quite warm more wrapped up but it's quite warm uh, definitely uh, get the wellies on definitely you're gonna get your feet wet else uh, very boggy PT but yeah we're flagged in at the minute so we're not wasting any time let's try and find a comp <laughs> well let's just say I'm glad I put my wetsuit on uh, my trousers because at the minute we've got a good old shower coming through but when this passes it could be superb um, wow let I me mean, just go that way you might hear me better okay so got this absolutely wonderful cascade waterfall the rapids god blimey um i just want the rain to stop we'll get the camera out and get working but unbelievably stunning uh, and not we've actually we've, we went too far up but i wouldn't mind walking back up there and trying from there to be honest uh, but we'll work this waterfall, see what we get, and I'll talk to you shortly. The rain has eventually stopped, so we've managed to get the camera out, done some panos. We've still got a bit of drizzle in the air, you can probably see on my glasses. Um, but it's pretty much stopped, so we have, I'm getting a, the odd problem with um, some rain spots. Done a pano, I think I've got some rain spots on it, so I'm going to actually go and do it again, uh, just to make sure. Well, I'm just going to go over this this one image with you. We've got this this lovely cascade. This waterfall is beautiful, and it's jagged, and it sticks out, and it's the water's sort of going over it. Um, we've got this rock in the bottom right-hand corner, and the lovely mountain range behind. I'm going to take the photo now for the simple reason is, in between the mountain and the and the river, we've got the road. 
and last time I took a photo, all of a sudden, a load of vans and God knows what come by. But I'll take a few photos, and if I keep taking them, I can actually remove in Photoshop any vehicles. I've just got one vehicle parked up, which I probably don't mind actually, because it's a camper van, he's got a new one. So it sort of relates to what I'm trying to photograph. But yeah, this is this is pretty amazing. Uh, so I'll concentrate on a, getting a few more images and then I'll, I'll get them put up for you. But yeah, I'm doing, um, I'm trying to go pano to try and get as much of the drama of the backdrop as well as the waterfall itself and the cascade so and I think it really works to get everything in it also works that we can get close into them so I might get one or two images where they're right close in um, the water's running quite fast so I don't particularly need a ultra long exposure it's a six of the second at the minute I'm gonna have to go back down there and get me pano again I think get that lens make sure it's clean Get that pattern. Okay, I've returned and got the pano. Uh, hopefully, it's worked. I'm just worried about them dots of rain on the, the lens. Got the wide angle out, tried a couple of shots with that. They might have worked as well. Uh, but I think I've done on this part of the location. Whether I walk back up, see if there's anything. It started to rain a little bit again, so it's very, very awkward. But if I, I, I might just go walk up, see if that weather just gives a bit of a lull again. Because there's another composition I've seen up here. Uh, and then we'll try and get that. Okay, I've come a walk up. I've met the gang on the way down there. They're shooting where I am, where I've been. And I've come up to this other location where I spotted earlier walking down. And I think I've come at the right time because the light hitting the mountain behind is absolutely epic. I got this just beam of light coming across. Well, not beam, just it's just casting a part of the mountain. But in the foreground, I've got the um, the rock with the water running around it as the river goes through heading towards this mountain the light's absolutely superb I'm focusing on the mountain now and then I'm going to take a, an image focusing on the rock which I'm going to do now I've tried to avoid the traffic because like I say we've got, we've got this road that runs through it um, no traffic at the moment bracketing the shot, that light's gone as quick as it's gone, come, it's gone Oh wow, hopefully I've managed to capture that little bit of light, yes, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it moving across, I might even time blend it and um, just make the most of that light, it, it sort of almost cut the top of the mountain off with this, this superb light, amazing, bits of pocket of light are popping out here, there and everywhere, uh, it's, it's making for a super, super scene absolutely super just going to come out a bit now adjust the comp see if that that light changes there we go i think i've probably um nailed that one <laughs> wow absolute wow okay ah uh, buzzing scotland the islands of scotland what an absolutely amazing place oh yes 
get in. I've enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.